Welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone. To another exciting episode of Pillow Talk. With Stephen and Sachi. <laughs> where we help you find your bliss. Wow. If you're joining us for the first time, this is an open and honest conversation that we have to show you how to have intimacy, to increase your intimacy um, that is going on in your life. A lot of relationship coaches will give you the theory. Um, there's no one like us. We're laying here in the morning. In the bed. And how many times do you get to see that? And, of somebody else in the bed and, laying there talking? And, and, and having a, a conversation of how you can ignite the passion and intimacy in your life. Yes, yes. So there's no, we take the makeup off and the hairdos and yeah. the great outfits. And we're just laying here being open, honest, and real with you. So in hopes that you can do the same with your partner. Absolutely, absolutely. Our topic today in this episode has to do with a TV show that we that uh, is now on the own uh, Steve TV station, own network. Um, it's called uh, Women Own the Conversation. Um, it's like a four or five part series. I can't remember, but yeah. the one we watched last night uh, was about the body, mind, and soul, and it generated a lot of conversation. And we often find watching something on TV to help us to communicate. I mean, to continue to communicate. We love doing that, analyzing other people's problems. Don't we? We're good at that, ain't oh, we? Oh, I think, I, I think <laughs> most people are, you know, uh, quite, quite the experts at that. Mm -hmm. And, but what, what, what we have used it for is, is to be the catalyst and help us deepen our level of intimacy. Um, as we say, it's into me, you see. Yeah. And it, it's not just about the sexual aspect uh, of intimacy. It's, it's about knowing that person because when you when, when a person feels that you know them when a person feels they are heard that that gives them a freedom uh, and, and an ability to be more open and more honest and more vulnerable which will create that intimacy yeah and that yeah. passion exactly. that leads to just enjoyment in life exactly exactly and on this particular particular episode there was so much going on and and women issue in general, if we can break through the things that people have told us in the past, the image issues that we have, it's intimacy will just start flowing. And when you know that your partner, your man, whoever you may have with you listens to you, then that opens up more. The floodgates just keep right. going and going and, and you begin to really learn uh, your partners. They spoke about mm -hmm all the stresses mm -hmm. on uh, african-american women yeah that was Brittany cooper uh, she really who she she said it in ways that i've never yeah, heard before they talked about the, the the racism the body image uh they talked about uh the discrimination um that that that, that women face and uh, a lot of times as men we have to take time and recognize that um what they are going through uh, not to say that it's any more real than what you're going to, but take time and understand what she's feeling and how she's feeling and how she's dealing with it. When you do that, oh, that opens up uh, mm -hmm. um, a passage for, 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 for a deeper level of intimacy. Yeah. Brittany was talking about um, stress-related um, weight loss, um, and I had never heard of it. Weight I know gain. that, sorry, weight gain, stress-related weight gain, um, I had heard that, you know, stress can bring on weight, but the thing she was saying was that African-American women, well, we hold in a lot of pain and the way, if you follow the diet of a white woman, you don't get the same results because your stress is different. And, and so we hold it in a lot more and we need to let that go. Um, we need to be able to learn to release stress and, and that is probably more of a better technique to losing weight than actually taking the diet pills and and all the exercise in the world because you can do all that and never lose an ounce because of the stress. And so if you create intimacy in a relationship, and this is for the fellas, if, if you're able to provide that place where she can vent, you don't have to always offer solutions, but let them vent, see where they're at, and... Say, baby, I hear you. I feel you. That's real. Those things will allow 
a deeper level of intimacy because you're recognizing it, where they are and how they feel. And it shows that how they feel is important to you. And that's what's in, that's what brings about intimacy. Yeah, yeah, you do that very well, sweetie. You always are asking me how my day is. That question, how was your day? Oh, my God. You don't recognize that you're missing it until somebody asks it of you. And so we use that every day, right down to our adult yeah. daughters that are living with us. How was your day? Yeah. And let and listen to and what actually, they're going and through. And actually take time to listen. Because some people say, how was your day? And if you give them more than one word answer, they done moved on. Mm -hmm. But to really take time and see how they felt. See, did they encounter any craziness? Um, I, I love it uh, when my daughters call me. Uh, two of them are away in college right now. And they'll call me and tell me about their successes or their frustrations while they walk into the library. Too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> while, you know, while they're in transition, you know, uh, get a few minutes for dear old dad and just share, you know, uh, their accomplishments, their frustrations, uh, mm -hmm. something that just ticked them off. Um, and I, I appreciate that openness and honesty, uh, with them that they share with me. And, you know, that doesn't happen overnight. Well, you just tell me what you feel. Tell, tell me, that started at a very young age. Mm -hmm. I would listen to when them. When you were driving them home? Yep, when we were driving mm -hmm. back and forth mm -hmm. to wherever we were going and just listen and listen and, and talk and ask questions and be genuinely interested in their day. That's one of the things I recognize when I travel. You guys have seen me travel around the world probably. And we did uh, our first series on this pillow talk was about communicating across 16,000 miles. I have to talk to my husband each day to find out how his day went no matter where I am in the world he needs that he that that's something he really wants to know that he is seen for all the things that he does that he is appreciated and I told him I said baby you got it sometimes you got to tell me I'm sorry I'm so busy sometimes I might miss it but if you tell me hey babe I cut the grass I uh took care of the cars dropped, took them to the shop I got your watch fixed um, I, I worked on our business. I, I contacted some of our clients. That gives me a list to appreciate him for. And he's sharing with me instead of, did you see what I did? Did you notice the, the, what I did to the front yard? <laughs> that doesn't start the conversation off right at all for me because it's like, no, I didn't. So now I'm already starting at a deficit. Yeah. So just telling me, hey, I, I did a great job. I, that fence I did was really beautiful. And then I can say, you know what? I didn't see it. Let me go check that out. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, 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 and then you don't get into a competition because I could rattle off the list that I did and she can come back with a list of stuff she did. Mm -hmm. And, and, and we always say, even in our book, keeping score, you always oh, lose. Oh my God. You the keeping score. always lose. Yeah. So learn to appreciate who you have, where they are. And, and and grow together. You know, um, we've been together, what, a total of about 12 years now? Mm -hmm. 12 blissful honeymoon years? Yeah, yeah. And I it, mean, literally, we're still on our honeymoon, y'all. Yeah. Where are we going on our honeymoon next, baby? Oh, well, let's <laughs> see. Our, ne our next stop is San Diego, I believe. Oh, that's right. That's right. We're yeah. going to be out in California. Yeah, next month. Um, and so we're, we're just excited, you know, just to be here and share with you how to open up to one another and show genuine concern. When you show genuine concern, that that begins to create that intimacy that you want. And a lot of people don't have intimacy because they ain't even talking to each other. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's 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 just a transactional thing. Did you get the groceries? Yeah, I got the groceries. You put gas in the car? Yeah, there's gas in the car. I mean, um, you know, so you can make uh, these uh, little... Um, Things we need to do, even exciting. We go to the gas station and get gas together. And, and, and I approach her window and, and talk to her like I never met her before. Yeah. Hey, beautiful, can I pump your gas? <laughs> sure, but you know what? Uh, I, 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 I don't trust you, so you're going to have to be nice to me some more. <laughs> or, sorry, my husband doesn't allow that. Um, you're going to have to go someplace else. <laughs> and, and and we just have fun with each other no matter where we are. Mm -hmm. um, we were in the grocery store the, together the other day, and Sanji hadn't realized how long it's been since she had actually been in the grocery <laughs> store. 
because I have been taking care of the shopping as of late. And and we just had fun going up and down the aisles, laughing with each other and at each other. Um, and you can create that intimacy wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I mean, yes, sometimes we are fortunate to be in South Africa together, <laughs> going on safari, but it could just be the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, you know, a lot of us have a lot of kids. We have kids every day. You don't find a minute to get alone. you got to plan, mm-hmm. plan your fun for intimacy, plan your conversations, you know, put the kids to bed early. Mm-hmm. Or but sometimes we'll, we have adult adults. When I'm not going to even say that other word, adults living in our house. And so you don't always get a moment to just have peace. So I'll ride. Baby, let's ride. That's it. That's you got to go do an errand. You know what? I'll ride with you. Let's have a conversation. Turn the radio off. Mm-hmm. Um, on my way home from work, I call him. Hey, babe, I'm on my way home. It's a 30-minute ride. Let's have a conversation where I ain't got to worry about the kids jumping in. I'm sorry, the adults. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's it's important that intimacy be important to you. And and we all want it in one way. And sometimes as men we may not say it, but but we want people to genuinely know how we feel. Mm-hmm. We want people or our spouse to to care about, you know, our physical condition, our our, our mental state. Mm-hmm. It's is we are people. We want to be heard. We want to be recognized. And do that for your spouse, and yeah. I guarantee you, your pillow talk will increase. Yes, yes. And uh, before we wrap it up, baby, I just want to say, go back to the 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 uh, show that we watched. That show is so powerful because these women are really opening up their hearts. Some of the stories, oh my god, that these ladies are expressing and the pain that they're going through. They talked about mental health last night and going to see a coach or a counselor. And we, as African Americans, have been taught that you got to be strong. You got to be. Uh, you just gotta suck it up yep. and deal with it because uh, anybody got no time for that. Right, and, every, and 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 you really got to be crazy to go see a therapist. A lot of times, a therapist or a, or a life coach, as we are, can help you see it from a different perspective. Yeah. And just that different perspective can change everything. The way you look at it, you can take your power back from the way you tell yourself. The yeah, story. Tina Lifford said that so well on the on the uh, conversation. It, it was amazing. And they all shared about their experiences with some of those um, counselors and so forth. But life coaches are, you know, they're in your neighborhood. They can give you their examples, like you said. They can offer the different perspective on how to look at what you're looking at. You know, oh, he did this. He must hate me. No, let me give you another option here. He didn't really hate you. He was just dealing with some of the stuff that was in his head. Mm -hmm. And it ain't really about you. Most people are narcissists. It's about them. <laughs> it's it's all about them, and 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 very seldom do you come into the equation. Yeah. Um, is is you know what was that thing you used to say about uh, elderly people when you were oh, young? Oh, when when you were young, you thought everybody was talking about you. Yeah, and then you got a little bit older, and then you kind of really didn't care. You you know you kind of did your own thing, and you were your own person. And then when you got to be say senior citizen age area, you found out. They wasn't thinking about you or talking about you anyway. Mm-hmm. It was all in your head. Exactly, exactly. So unless you open up your conversation and build intimacy in all your relationships, not just your partner, mm-hmm. it could be your work relationships. I had a, a situation at work where they thought I was an angry black woman, mm-hmm. and it wasn't that at all. I was just being passionate about the topic I was into, and I was protecting someone else. It wasn't about me, and they misread the situation completely, but... I decided this time I was going to talk to him and have a conversation about it rather than just get pissed off or say, yes, sir, or or just ignore it. I wanted to say, I am so tired of the world calling me an angry black woman. You guys are misreading this completely. Mm -hmm. And if I'm angry about anything, it's because you won't talk to me. And you make assumptions. Yes. And and one of the things that I recognize as being an African American man, and uh, a lot of my communication with African American women is that oftentimes we are not allowed to be a full person, mm-hmm. a full authentic. You know, they, you know, it's it's the buzzwords now. Be authentic, mm-hmm. but sometimes my authenticity is 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 really pissed off. And as a human being, I have a right to express myself 
without being called a threat or a criminal or I never thought you would say that. What you didn't think I was a full human being because mm -hmm. you caught me on a good day and you've only seen uh the happy jovial Steve. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen uh bubbly. Don't forget bubbly. That's right. Oh my god. Let, let's not go to bubbly, baby. Um, you know, and, and so and so we, we 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 falsify our emotions. We have a right to be real and we have a right to vent. Mm -hmm. And we need that release. Oh well, yeah, that release really valve. And, and, and so Help provide that space. If you can't get it anywhere else, let's try to get it at home. If you can get it at home, mm -hmm. that's, I mean, that will, uh, you, you can deal with whatever the world has. But if you got to come home and fight too, uh, yeah. you really need our coaching in a desperate way. Yes, yes. So um, that's our time. Uh, we've enjoyed talking with you and uh, we have so much more to share with you. And if this is a conversation that has been uh, what are the inspiring, words? Inspiring, instructional, and, and instructional. Share it with your spouse, your partner, your friends. Have conversations about just this if you don't Absolutely. have anything else. That's right. Um, so that you can relieve the stress that's in your life. Mm -hmm. um, and baby, we just want you to go to myblistopia.com. Tell your friends to subscribe. Myblistopia.com. That's and where you can become. Uh, see our members only page. Sign up for the members only page yeah. where you find. Pillow Talk. With Stephen and Sanji. Namaste. Bye.